Hey y'all, all right. I appreciate you so much responding to my videos, you know, explaining my hair growth oil and everything. And um, I, um, I just wanted, I'm, a, 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 I'm actually a dance fitness owner, dance fitness instructor, I have belly dances on here and all kinds of stuff like that. And I decided to do my hair journey as you can see, and if you go to my other videos, you'll see what, where I came from, from the picture of my video, my DVD, that you can get on Amazon, and today. So here I am in my outfit, ready for class, and I'm about to leave for class, but I wanted to let you know that I can do my best to get your regimen, to share my regimen, because a lot of you are saying that you love my hair and curl pattern and everything. Um, I'll just tell you a few things. So I'll just get into telling you a little bit about my regimen, and I can tell you my regimen, and then if I can figure out how to do it like the hair uh, channels do it, I'll do my very best. But this is not a hair channel. I just happen to do a lifestyle and health, you know, and fitness and beauty segment to my dance fitness channel. So I hope you dance with me. But let me just go ahead into sharing some specific things that I could definitely tell you about my regimen. So first of all, the way I wash my hair, I, I believe there's five things I talked about before where you need to cleanse and clarify, you need to deep condition, strengthen, seal, and gel. That was the big thing. I've learned so much about hair now that I will begin to do a lot more hair videos giving you everything that I know. So, um, my, and I also want to tell you what I'm taking internally that could also help you with your hair growth journey and for hair care. So there's so many different things you could be doing for your hair. It's hair care, hair strengthening, all of the things that we need to do for the care of our hair, as well as styling to make sure that we're feeling beautiful in the, in the meantime, right? Depending on where our hair is in terms of its growth. So last year I had a small afro and now it's longer. I've been natural. Little background about me is that I've been natural most of my life. I just didn't know how to take care of my hair and retain it so that it didn't break. It's very fragile, very fine, very, very, very delicate. That means I cannot take perms. I can't take coloring. I can barely take hand manipulation. My hair is that fine and that delicate. So I found a regimen that has strengthened my hair, obviously, has retained moisture. I have, let me see if you can see it. I, I believe I've reached maximum hydration. Um... And I am in absolute love with my hair. I love my hair. And this is, um, gonna, this is a big deal for someone like me who's gone through this journey most of her life trying to figure out how do I enjoy these curls God has blessed me with and still enjoy, you know, feeling like a woman and not a little girl wearing pigtails, you know? Well, anyway, this is my regimen. Basically, I, I looked up my regimen. I've been on YouTube looking at all kinds of things and I've learned so much. And I can already tell you the people that I follow. The main, main person is Curly Proverbs. And definitely go to her channel and you can learn their Ayurvedic um, system. I don't know if it's called a system or not, but that's what I'm using, the Ayurvedic system. That's the basis to my regimen. But the, the basis to any regimen is that we need to be moisturizing our hair. And it depends on your texture, um, your porosity level, I should say on how the moisture goes into your hair. Many of you might already know that, but some of you do not know that. So there's high porosity, low porosity, and normal porosity. I am low porosity, so I need heat to open up my cuticles to bring the moisture in. And so my regimen has a lot to do with my porosity levels and what all of us need for our hair to be healthy. So there's what we all need for our hair to be healthy, which is those five things, I believe, those five things. And then there's your type of porosity, how you're getting those things in your hair depends on what regimen and system you're going to use, how you will use it, I should say. Okay? So everyone should have basic things in their regimen. Everyone needs to definitely be cleansing their hair. They need to be deep conditioning their hair and they need to be, um, um, what do you call it, strengthening their hair, sealing their hair, and if you like to have gel, you can, but you can double seal with some kind of cream or something, but most of, mostly you're going to put some kind of styler in it, right? So I've decided gel is what I'm using. So I believe my system is the maximum hydration and the curly um, girl method. I think it's a blend of both. I'm not sure, but I just picked what I knew I loved so let's say it's a mix of the three. I'm using an Ayurvedic system that incorporates the maximum hydration and girly girl, curly girl method, method. I guess you can call it that, okay? So, and then, um, so this is what it is. 
I don't use shampoos at all. I use baking soda and water first. Well, first I pre-poo with my hair growth oil, which I can show you what's left of it. There's not much left of it. Here's my hair growth oil. Since the last time, I'm almost done. It's, I'm probably gonna make a new one and I'll let you know what's in that. And I think that's what you were asking for. So that I can do. I can try and give you a video telling you what's in here, okay? Um, but my regimen is I pre-poo with that in the sense that, and I'm not a big like pre-poo that word, I'm, it's used so much that I'm kind of annoyed with even hearing it. <laughs> but what I do is I just put it all over my scalp like Kelly Proverbs does. In my scalp, I massage it in. I've done the inversion method for a week to get some growth earlier this year and, and I did get it. Um, I, had, I lost and got the hair right back within a month using Curly Proverbs um, um, hair growth oil. I added three more things to mine. But anyway, her main ingredient is MSM and um, vitamin C, by the way, okay? MSM and vitamin C. I intake that, I take it in, and I put it in the hair growth oil. So just so you know, if you're wondering. Okay, so what I do is I do that oil in my hair. So what I'm gonna teach you soon is three different ways. You could do a quick one, you could do a regular one, and then you could do an intense one. And that depends on how long you do all these things, okay? So anything you're putting in your hair, you can do them quickly. You can do them for a regular 30 minutes or so, 20, 30 minutes, or you can do an hour or more. So I've decided that I'm going to help you look into that, okay? so. We'll talk more about that as I do more videos, but I have to teach class right now, the women's soccer dance fitness class, so definitely go to my other videos and dance with me, all right? Because that's important too. You got to keep that blood circulation, so dance with me, all right? Anyway, um, so what I do is I'll do the oils. Let's say it's late. I want My husband wants to hang out with me. He goes to bed early. I stay up late, so I figured, all right, honey, go ahead and find something on TV to watch. I'm going to go upstairs, and I'm going to go ahead and wash all this hair stuff up. If I don't wash it off because I have gel in it, I'll just do my, put the oil in my, um, on my scalp, get it in there, and I'll just sit there for a little while and hang out a little bit. Or I'll wash it out, and I'm learning a little bit more about if your hair should be wet or not because of the oil, water oil thing. But I got so much gel on here that what I've decided is I go upstairs, wash it all out, put the oil in the scalp, put it all over the hair, let that sit for a little bit. And if I'm doing the medium, regular 30 minute one, 20 to 30 minutes, I'll have a cap on, sit down and watch TV maybe. Maybe I'll sit for a little while and do that. Um, and then after that, then I start my wash regimen. It's so much, to me it's fun. It's a, it's a lot of steps, but it's a lot of fun. So I do the baking soda and water. I try to get it in warm water and I wash it all over my hair. I let it sizzle and I let all the junk, you know, first I wash off all the junk and then I put, let the sizzling, you know, get that going. And then I rinse it out and I put apple cider vinegar in water and rinse my hair out again with that, okay? Then after I do that, I kind of rinse all the smell of the apple cider vinegar, I rinse everything out. And then I use, um, I, I have been bad and dabbed my hair with a towel a few times and I've noticed that I've gotten some breakage. Isn't that interesting? My hair is really delicate. So let me tell you, if my hair can be this beautiful, anybody's can because my hair is extremely delicate. So anyway, um, I started getting a t-shirt. I said, honey, do you have an old t-shirt I can use? And he says, oh wait, yeah. So I started using my t-shirt and I have this other fiber something towel, but use your t-shirt. Um, so after I do that, so I cleansed and clarified my hair by doing that. No shampoo. Everything's natural. It, 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 basically, you can probably eat most of the things that I put in my hair, okay? So that's the first thing. Anyway, after I do that, depending on what it is, because I've decided that there's a step, and then, okay, I'm not finished clarifying and conditioning. Then I do my Russell Clay. It's so beautiful, I love it, I love it, love it, love it. I believe I do it like Curly Barber's does. The rose powder, I put that in there, and I also put aloe vera powder in there. I use powder. Um, because I heard that people have a problem with aloe vera, so I'm scared of worrying about the gel in the water. I bought it, and I drank the aloe vera juice with my drinks, but I put the powder in there and I put apple cider vinegar mostly, a little bit of water, and I make, mix, make my mix and I put it all over my hair. I don't have very dense hair, so I get, I can, maybe a half a cup of all that is enough for my head. And I part my hair the same all the time so my hair is used to it. I'm, I'm keeping a pattern where it always gets used to this thing being here. It gets used to a spot here. It gets used to the way I like to part it. Since I don't have as much hair as a lot of people, I don't really need to clip it always. 
it just kind of lays where I put it, okay? So I got my apple cider, I got my Russell clay in there. I'm doing the regular version, so I'm doing 20 to 30 minutes. Sit down and I run upstairs because I never sit through a movie like I should. Run upstairs and come back down and finish watching the movie with him. And then it's like time to rinse it out. Or I could just keep it in until the movie's out, let him go to bed, say goodnight, and then I wash it out. And he's in bed while I finish the rest of my regimen. One more thing, I do my regimen every night. I do it at night because I love the way it sets for the next day. It looks this beautiful the next day. I think this is beautiful. So I don't know what you think, but I think it is. I love it. And so after I do that, um, after I do the Rosso Clay, now it's time to decide on what am I putting in my hair today, okay? There's the regular five things we're talking about. The deep, there's a five, regular, you have to condition your hair, you gotta seal and all that. But in terms of strengthening, which strengthening am I gonna use? Because this is my wash day we're talking about, my full regimen wash day. I do it on Wednesdays and on Saturdays, or Tuesdays, and, uh, either Tuesdays and Saturdays, or Wednesdays and Sundays, because I teach my class which is really high intensity and I'm sweating everywhere on Tuesday evenings, which is tonight, and on Saturday afternoons. So I figure since my scalp is gonna be all sweaty, then that'll be a great time to wash it. So I wash it after my class on Tuesday night or Wednesday, or after my class on Saturday night or Sunday night, okay? Because sometimes I wanna have my hair looking nice for church the next day, so if I'm not gonna do the full regimen or do it really, not, if I'm too tired, I'm not gonna mess with it, I'm just gonna do my regular in-betweens, and I'll tell you about my in-betweens also. One little tip on my in-betweens is I saturate my hair every single night, okay? That's one little tip. Anyway, so I am up, finished with my Russell Clay, so that's done with the cleansing and clarifying, and now I've decided I'm either gonna do the henna mask, which I really haven't ever done the pure henna mask. Let me show you what I've done. I've done this henna mask, this one here. It has a lot of other things in it. The Curly Proverbs, some of them are the ones Curly Proverbs have, in hers but it's the closest to a henna mask that I can get my hands on and it's local and it's very inexpensive so if you guys are having a hard time getting it send me a message and I'll try to get it to you because where I am I'm able I have an Indian community here and they I have a supermarket right near me where I can get this stuff so anyway the henna mask you can get that from Color Proverbs channel or one of these days I can try and share with you what she's already shared and I can show you how I make it but that's the the most pure that I go with the henna mask. I still have not gotten like um, anything more pure than that so far. But remember, my hair is so delicate, and she does say to build anyway. So I'll do the. I'll either create a henna mask, which I haven't really done in a little bit, because you also can need to use most of the stuff that you use in the henna mask. You're using your growth oil, and whatever's left in your growth oil, you leave it in the jar. You take it out of the jar. Out of, it soaks in the jar, you take it out of there, it sits in there for two to three days or whatever, however long you want. You take it out of there, squeeze it out with some material, and you put it in here. Now, once it's, once it's, there's still some stuff in here, and it's been infused. That stuff is called henna gloss. So the stuff that you would have used in your hair growth oil is a, that what's left of it, like the, the um, clay that's out of, from it, that is a henna gloss. So that is like a perfect little cycle because as you're making your hair growth oil, you, you got some henna gloss left over that's gonna be sitting there waiting for when your wash day comes when it's time to do the henna gloss. So I just decided, I've been keeping a journal, I'm gonna rotate. It's gonna be the henna, straight up henna mask. Then as I'm doing that, I've already made my henna oils. I've been doing the oil, you know, her oils. That's why her oils are darker than a lot of people on YouTube because she has henna in there and all these other very rich things in them. Um, the three things I've added to mine, and I'll just tell you right off the bat, is, is biotin, liquid biotin. I, I added that to mine. I added sesame. And I might add pumpkin oil too because I'm hearing that that grows your hair. It's backwards. And let me see, oh yeah, this is a, an amazing um, product. It's called Moringa, okay? It's, it's a super duper food. And if you look at my health and, and fitness, I have been getting into super duper foods for your body, and I've been studying them, and that is a miracle food. Coconut oil is a miracle food. Um, Manuka honey is a miracle food. And I'll show you the Manuka honey too. It's a miracle food. And basically, 
I've learned that about the body. And then I look on YouTube and I'm like, oh, did you use this Marika in your hair? Your... I'm like, the same stuff that's miracle for healing your body. I'm talking about diseases like diabetes, Alzheimer's. These things are healing. MSM is actually healing migraines and all these serious, serious things in the body. And I'm learning that. And then I'm looking at hair videos and it's like, oh, MSM actually grows your hair. I'm like... This is some miracle, dear, miracle, miracle stuff. So um, look into more of these products and how good they are for you. Put them in smoothies, learn how to use them. I've been taking MSM since May, since I think the end of May, and Curly Proverbs introduced it to me and then I studied about it more. I found out it has some amazing property things for healing the body and the stomach and migraines. So if you have had migraines, go ahead and do it. So I'm going fast because I have to teach my class. So those are the three extra ingredients I've added. I might put some pumpkin seed in there because I hear that's really good. If you just want to grow your hair, there's some other growing things out there. You can just take some onion juice. If you just want to do something really really strong, onion juice and peppermint, I believe. You could just do like a treatment and just do that. Um, I've tried uh, uh, rice rinses. Um, which are good, but I'm sticking to the what Curly Promise has done because I really love it. It's, it just, I feel healthy. I feel the health in it. And I'll be honest, the more I put that oil, the better everything works. I'm telling you, the more I put it on my hair, the better it works. I feel a little different with the oil and the smell of it when I added those three things. I can't put my finger on what it is, but there's something a little different about it. Okay. But anyway, so, um, I decide either I'm going to do my henna mask, henna gloss, or I just did for the first time a hot oil treatment with the oils. Think about it. They're basically the same um, ingredients, except the oils, um, the hair growth oil has that MSM in it and all that other stuff for hair growth and all those other ingredients that she puts into the oils. But we still got that henna in there. We got the same properties, the same types of things going in your hair regularly. So I'm doing this whole regimen twice a week. And she's saying, don't do the henna, straight up henna, do it once a month. But think about it. If I cycle that over, it basically ends up being once a month, right? Because if I did the henna mask, then the henna gloss, and then the um, hot oil treatment and then the henna mask, you know, it kind of adds up. It just kind of cycles. So I have to keep, get my cycle going. In the beginning of doing your hair regimen, like me, I started in May, you're going to have to find out which products are best for you. You know, what works best. But if you're doing it, I am a strong believer that if you do this Ayurvedic, Vedic, um, uh, system, more then likely everything's going to be fine unless you have some basic allergies to sesame seeds or <clears throat> to aloe vera or to coconut oil or something like that. Everything's so natural, you know, you can eat it. So um, that's the other thing. So just keep in mind that I, I just definitely think if you're starting off, start off as natural as possible, then you can build in these great, exciting products that are out there or never have those great, exciting products. Stick to your natural stuff, right? Maybe in the winter you need something more strong or whatever. Okay, so basically, after I've done either one of those treatments, let's say I'm doing the regular one, 20 to 30 minutes, let me just tell you what else I do. I will put whatever it is that's skin in my hair in my hair. At this point, I'm beginning to want to get this deep into my scalp. I don't always do any kind of a deep treatment when I put in the Russell Clay. I just put in the Russell Clay, put it in a plastic bag, and just sit and chill. Um, I don't worry about the heat and all that with that one. I just use natural heat. But when I start getting into my, my treatments of having um, strengthening and moisturizing, now I put the plastic cap on, I get this hot, this towel right here, and I get piping hot water, because I don't like microwaves, and I squeeze it out as much as my hands can take it, wrap that around it after the plastic cap, then I take this other cap right here, put this on top of that plastic thing, and then I might take another bag, another towel or I'll take a, just a plastic bag and do it again. So I got this like big turban all over my head and I'm seeping in that heat. I'm low porosity and you need the heat to get this in your hair. So that's what I do and I sit there. My husband's so sweet. He's just looking at me like, okay, she's just doing her hair thing. And he's white. So he's like, okay, she's doing her hair thing. 
<laughs> yeah, let me not bother her. So anyway, he's a sweetheart. He's been wonderful from the beginning of my journey. So I just appreciate him so much. He gets it. So we're sitting there, we're watching TV, and then the thing starts getting heavy after a while, you know? But you can keep it there for 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, however, whichever regimen you're doing, if you're going to do the hour one, you need to just make some time for the fact that today I'm doing a heavy treatment day. Do you know what I mean? And so that would mean that I'm keeping everything in longer. And that's what I did last time. And that's that's kind of how I'm keeping this here. This la last week, I did everything for an hour or two. So that really got it. And I think Carly Proud does that. I think that's her biggest secret. Um, so after I did my treatment of whatever day I decided to plug into that step, now I'm ready to wash it out. And so I'm going to go and wash it all out. The, the treatment, wash it all out. Now, I, but I've already created my conditioner. My conditioner consists of predominantly honey. All it is, because the Lord put in my heart, he said, you need to put honey in your hair. Honey lightens your hair. Hannah changes the hair color. I have grays, so it's coloring it. And I like a lighter brown. So it brings out your natural light color that your natural hair would have. And I want that. So I need that because I like that lift in my hair. In fact, if it were left up to me, in the past, I think I would have had lighter hair going starting this journey. Now I'm actually loving just this. This is so pretty to me. Anyway, predominantly honey, then only like a tablespoon of my conditioner, which is her, she uses Giovanni, so I went and got Giovanni, because she's a stickler for natural stuff in the ingredients, so I trust her, she's already done my homework, and I trust that she is very funny about certain products being in there, and I'm, it's too confusing, all this junk that I have to keep up with, so I figured let her do the hard work, and I'll just follow what she does, so I figured if she's gonna put that in her hair, I'm putting, I can put it in my hair, so I've been using the Giovanni, and I've liked it, it's very light weight, and it's the deep conditioner, and um, here's a newer bottle of it, it's called Deep Moisture Conditioner, Smooth as Silk. So that's that. And after I do that, I'll put that in there. I'll put the rose powder in there, a little aloe vera powder again, kind of get that going, put it in a hot, like on top of like hot, make it hot, you know, warm it up. Then I start putting it in different sections again. And I do the same thing with the turban, with the plastic bag, then the hot towel, then the other thing, you know, just get that in there. And then my regular one will be 30 minutes or whatever. After I'm done with all of that, I'm basically done. I rinse it out and in, in the shower or however with still in warm water here because I might just, I might just put a little bit more of the um, moisturize, the uh, conditioner in my hair as a leave-in. I don't use leave-ins because I've copied Dana B. Natural, I think her name is. I think her name is Dana B. Natural. D-A-N-A. Be natural. I think that's her name. She is the woman from the rest of my regimen. I got that from her. She's been wonderful because her hair seems to be a lot like mine. She had a very hard journey and she's made it and I'm very really proud of her. So anyway, because Curly Proverbs, as you can tell, her curls are not as defined because she uses a butter, I believe, at the end. She'll end with her sealant and that's it. I don't think she uses gel. So that's the thing with Kelly Proverbs. I think in the winter I might follow that regimen. So after I do that conditioner, I rinse that out and I maybe leave a little bit of the conditioner. My daughter, Mariana, she is actually mixed. She's a half Italian. Her hair is, um, she has curls that are, are more loose and she has that normal porosity. That hair that's so easy to do. She leaves her conditioner and she doesn't completely wash it out. And I learned a lot from my daughter, believe it or not. She's ahead of me in this whole process. And maybe one day I'll send you to her channel so you can see what she does so um after i do that i rinse that out and with cold water because now it's time to seal now i want the cuticle sealed and then i put my oil i've tried using the avocado i've tried using the jojoba i've tried all that it does not do what this does so this is my sealant and I don't mind putting it right back on my scalp everywhere so not so much maybe light but you know that's my sealant Okay, I seal my hair with that. And after I seal it, then I saturate it in cold water everywhere in the sections it needs to be. And I begin to put my kinky curly custard, curling custard, okay? And this, between this and Russell Clay, that's why these curls are popping. So basically, 
you have to really saturate it. This is in the evening, right? After I saturate it, then I start to part it and I pick it back and I just kind of tighten it, you know, stretch it a little bit. It's really, really wet and really gooky and all kinds of gel all in it, right? And after I do that, I take my satin scarf, I pin it up the way I want it to be for the next day. I put on my satin scarf and I lay on my satin pillow. And then I sleep and in the morning I take it out and I put it in my in this uh, very loose band here and do my little cute things here and I'm done. And that is my regimen that I do twice a week. In between, I'll come home and I'll rinse this out and I'll do uh, put a little conditioner and, and cold water, put the gel back in it, tie it up until the next morning in between wash days. That's what I do, okay? And um, if you wanna see what's in the oils, I could do another video, but just I already added two major things that she puts in there that I also do is the MSM, which is a powder. You wanna be careful with how much you put in there. And vitamin C, they have to go together because they work together. Um, she uses rosemary, that's a very important ingredient. Tea tree oil, she uses uh, marshmallow, that keeps that silk going. Peppermint, she uses, I think she uses fenugreek. I open up the capsules and put those in. And um, she uses olive oil, I use grapeseed oil and coconut oil. And of course, Jamaica castor oil. Um, I use the jojoba oil and the avocado. These are all, I use the really essential ones. Uh, aloe vera powders. Oh, all that shakakai and all those herbs, shakakai oil. Um, amla, uh, rose powder. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this. Brahmi, shakakai. Um, and I can't think of anything else she uses. And, and that's all of it. That's everything that we put in the um, oils. So that's everything all in a nutshell for you. And if you want me to demonstrate that, I can do my very best to demonstrate it, but I gave you as much as I can give you of my secrets of what I do to get my hair max hydration. And that's my routine, that's all that I do. And let me know if you want me to be more in detail, but I gotta go teach a class right now. I love you so much. Thank you so much for subscribing and for your wonderful comments. And thank you for accepting me into the hair journey community. I'm loving it. I am so grateful for all of our sisters that have come before me and have done this. Thank you, Curly Proverbs. Thank you, Dana B. Natural. Thank you, Natural 85. Thank you. Um, journey to the waste. There's so many women out there that I've been watching, but Curly Proverbs is the one that I'm following because she matches me the most in terms of what my journey is and the texture and low porosity and all these other things. And I really believe in the, in this Ayurvedic um, system, so I just hope you do. There's a new one out, Shebe, and it does uh, basically the five major things. And I think what it what I'm learning from this lady, I can't remember her channel, C Babe. I think it's C Bay, B A B E. Check her out. She's the only person I see on YouTube that's actually tried Shebe. It's doing the same thing the Ayurvedic is doing, but it, um, it's actually just a one step thing, but you cannot go around with it. You can't walk around with it and you can't, you know, it's something where you have to do when you're hibernating at home, I think, because you have to like always keep it in your hair. So, but it's making a difference in her hair and her hair is getting thicker and growing. But I'll talk about that in another video. But for now, my Ayurvedic system is what I've been using. God bless you. And the most important thing you can do for your journey is to keep God in it. Literally, I prayed and cried out to the Lord and I said, Lord, help me know how to take care of this beautiful hair you gave me. I'm done, I throw in the towels. And I think God wants that. So if you're feeling like it's it's the end, I'm done, I had enough, he wants that in anything in your life. He's ready for you to let go so he can help you. 
and surrender. The first step is receiving Jesus as your savior, asking forgiveness of your sins, believing he died on the cross and saying, Lord, come into my heart. I'm done doing it my way. I turn from my ways. Forgive me of my sins. I believe you died on the cross. Come into my heart and be my Lord and savior so I can live forever with you in heaven and so that I can have my heaven on earth here and you can partner with, you can be my guide in all that I do in my life, including my hair. So I would be remiss if I did not be honest and tell you the Lord before Curly Proverbs was the one that gave me the advice for henna, gave me the advice for coconut oil when I first started my journey. When I first started paying attention to my hair, 2015 is when I, I got married and, and I had been done with losing my hair and I stopped putting stuff in it. I stopped like dying it. It was natural, but I was dying it. And that was when I think the clock started in terms of me retaining natural, healthy, you know, it wasn't falling out anymore. So that would be two years, I think, this fall. So I've had natural hair, but it just kept falling because I kept doing stuff to it. So I stopped doing stuff to it um, by, I think it was like November of 2015. So I've had a protective style of about three or six months. I think I had a, a weave just to keep it in for the winter and it grew so many inches. I think it was like, like four to six inches. So protective styles are great depending on which one you want to use. If I speak fast, it's because I'm from New York City and I got to go teach a class tonight. So I'm trying to just get this in. So that's basically it. Thank you for being patient with me in this 30 minutes. I hope that I've used the time wisely. Please subscribe, touch, press the bell, dance with me y'all. I make it easy for you. You follow along with me. I break it down. It's a good workout. And look up, go to SakaDanceFit.com and learn more about the children's program and the women's program. And if you want me to come to you to start doing an event, let me know. But definitely let God be a part of your journey. Pray to him, talk to him. But this is the deal. You got to listen after you pray. You say the prayer and then you just stay quiet. He will guide you. He'll give you this. He'll guide you. He'll show you what's right for your hair or not. It is a hit or miss. So why would you do it alone without your maker? He made it for you. Your hair is beautiful. It is beautiful. I did not know what I know about black hair before, but it doesn't matter what the texture is. I've seen such beautiful, beautiful hair out there. Trust me. Maybe you have one thing somebody else doesn't have, but I bet you have something that I don't have. Or you know what I mean? Like everybody has like a something good while they might not have what somebody else has, they have something else that's wonderful about their hair. So my hair is in this, for a 4C hair that's like really thick and coarse. I can't do twist outs like them. And my hair is not as strong and it's just not as, you know, I see that thick, beautiful twist outs. I'm like, I would love to be able to do that. So it's like, you know, magnify what you have that God has blessed you with that, that others don't have, you know, that you can magnify. And don't worry about what, what somebody has that you don't have. And that goes for everything in your life. Any of your strengths or your weaknesses. Don't match your weaknesses with somebody else's strength. That is what the enemy wants. Always look at you, run your own race and look what you have going for you and praise the Lord for it and bless others by showing off what you are good at and what's good for you. Contribute what your part is. We're all flowers and we all have different colors and shapes, but together we're a beautiful bouquet. So without each different type, we wouldn't have that bouquet, right? Praise the Lord. So God bless you. I'll see you next time. And I hope that I've helped you. Bye.